Hey, what's up? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to talk about this whole Serena Williams. It really and truly, it kind of doesn't even have anything to do with Serena Williams, but it kind of does. So basically, um, it's a store in Manhattan. Um, I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not even going to try. Um, they give discounts to celebrities. The manager of the store. Now, y'all make sure. Yeah, if y'all, if I got the story wrong, which y'all let me know, because I read this, I read this story like 15 times, and I still okay. I'm like, I'm thinking I got it. And I really didn't know if I wanted to talk about it just for the simple fact that I didn't know if I had the story right or not, right or not. But I'm gonna talk about it anyways, because I think I do. But anyway, so um, Serena Williams staff asked for a discount on some items that were being purchased. They usually give a higher discount to people, white white folks, but they the the manager claims that her boss only wanted to give a fraction of the discount to Serena Williams because she, they don't want black people in their shit. So now, the manager of the store, not Serena Williams, the manager of the store is suing her boss in the company um, because now she alleges discrimination and you know all that type of stuff. Some people was... This, that's what I said, this is really bigger than Serena Williams. This has to do with really the employee, if you ask my opinion. Um, the employee felt some type of way about rece Serena Williams receiving a type of a service. And I guess in a way, because she was also fired. No, 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 let me leave that part out. She was also fired and replaced by a white person. Now, I mean, just because you get fired and replaced by a white person don't mean that somebody just necessarily uh, racist. But, you know, I guess within the companies, you know, when shit go on in your company, you know what the fuck somebody's trying to do. So anyway, some people were upset because they were like, why well, Serena Williams asked for a discount, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it wasn't necessarily Serena Williams. It was Serena Williams' staff. But even if Serena Williams was asking for a discount, I completely understand why. I'm going to say this much. At the end of the day, yes, these... These designers and these um, stores who give these, you know, celebrities discounts and free clothes. You know, I used to always say it was stupid because at the end of the day, it's kind of like, bitch, they can afford it. But the reason why they do that is because they're a walking billboard. And if you see Rihanna or Beyonce or Serena and some shit, then it'll be like, oh, well, shit, let me go get it since, you know, since B got it on or since Re got it on. So I understand. And another thing too, bitch, some of the richest people always ask for discounts. Bitch, one of my good friends, she used to work at the store. Um, I work at a high-end store. So anyway, she used to be a sales associate. And she was basically telling me, telling me one day, she was like, girl, you would never believe. She was basically saying how a customer came in and all she wanted to talk about was shit that was on sale. Is this on sale? Is this on sale? Is this on sale? And my friend was like, she was getting frustrated because she was like, this bitch ain't going to buy shit. She wasting my time. I could be, you know, getting my money with somebody else because they're on commission. <coughs> so anyways, long story short, the lady ended up spending like $4,000. The truth of the matter is, some of the richest and wealthiest people always ask for a discount. I always want the cheapest shit. That's just the truth. Of, that's why them bitches is rich. Um, now, what we need to realize, I understand why that girl is suing. Okay, discrimination and they probably mistreating black folks at the company. I, I get it. Um, what it comes down to is, girl, these white people, they, they not fucking with us. They not fucking with us and we need to realize we need to stop fucking with them. Not all of them, of course. Because I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. At one point in my life, you know, now, you know, I, I sleep with white men, you know. I'm starting to be a, a whole lot open-minded when it comes to being friends with people that are not black. Uh, because before, baby, if you wasn't black, I wasn't going to be your friend, straight up. Because I always felt, I always had in my head that, bitch, the first thing a white person going to do is when they get mad. It's the first thing a white person going to do when they get mad at you, what they going to do? Bitch, call you a nigga. And bitch, the first thing I'm gonna do is what? Beat your ass. Hello? So I always had, I always just was like, you know what? The best thing for me to do is not be friends with a white person because when they get mad at me and call me a nigga and I get mad and beat the fuck out of them, I'm gonna end up in jail and I'm gonna be the one who wrong. <laughs> so, anyways. And then I have to realize, like, okay, Rodney, every white person is not bad. And the truth of the matter is, I've always been cordial to everybody. Baby, I will talk your, ear off, I'll talk your ear off if you want me to. You can be white, black, it don't matter. But when it came to, like, building a friendship, no. 
When it came to anything sexual, hell no. Hello? So anyways, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, but I, I get why she's probably um, um, doing, a law, I mean, doing a lawsuit. You know, it's this bar in Houston. F bar. The owner is white. And from what I understand, allegedly, he called, a call, called us niggas. And I guess I can't even say allegedly because he did. He did. In a, he said in an interview that he did call us a nigga. See, talking about he said it in the heat of the, he said it in the heat of the moment. See, that's the shit I be talking about. When white people get mad, the first thing they go to is a nigga. See, ooh. So, anyways, he said that he said it in the heat of the moment. He was upset, but then he backdoored and was like, he didn't see what the problem was. We, because we said all the time. I always tell people, you can say what you want to say. I can't stop you from saying what you want to say. You can call us niggas. You can call me a faggot. You can call me a punk. You can call me whatever. But bitch, I can't help what my hands do either. It's just as simple as motherfucking that. You have the right to say what you want to, what you want to do and I got the right to slap the fuck out of you. Whatever. So anyways... Um, he supposedly was calling us niggas, and I just got I just got to the point where I was just like, you know what? I'm not giving my money to nobody where you just disrespecting me. Like, bitch, that's not that's not even up, that's not even that's not even gonna be questioned. Like, you calling me a nigga, not me personally, but bitch, when I walk into your club, when I walk into your bar, and I know that you've called me a nigga, what the fuck? I look like giving you my goddamn money. What the fuck I look like spending my money at your bar? What the fuck I look like paying to get inside your uh, bar when you charge? Because it's Christmas time and you know a lot of people going to be out. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Bitch, I will stay my black ass at home and get drunk by my goddamn self. Hello? So, yeah, I'm just to the point where I mean, not, I'm not to the point, but I just feel like everybody needs to... Girl, when y'all hear about these white people not giving a fuck about us, bitch, don't give a fuck about them back. I'm not saying all white people, but when you hear about these white designers who don't want you in their shit, bitch, don't wear their shit. Hello? When you hear about these white people who don't want you in their restaurant, bitch, don't go. Bitch, when you hear about these motherfuckers calling you niggas and coons and shit, bitch, why would you give them your goddamn money? Girl, fuck you. Bitch, I take my money somewhere else. Bitch, I go to French's, bitch. Bitch, I go to Popeye's and get my chicken to take my black ass home. Bitch, you ain't getting my goddamn money. Now that you just call me a motherfucking nigga. Girl, let me go. I gotta go to sleep. God, this is seven minutes long. I thought this was gonna be about three minutes long. Damn, I talk too fucking much.